have obsessions, but in some people, they get out of hand, with devastating consequences. Last year in Seattle, Rosemary Heinen's obsession dramatically caught up with her. Well, we came back from the cruise. We flew from Anchorage to Seattle. The uh, plane landed. We pulled up to the gate. Everybody got up, and we were taking our luggage off the racks. And they announced there was going to be a slight delay. There was a whole bunch of policemen that just stormed onto the plane. Two plane clothesmen and about six uniformed policemen. The two plane clothesmen obviously knew what seat numbers we were. And they're asking for us. They uh, asked my parents, are you Jerry Rosemary Heinen? And they were like, yes. And I was like, what are they doing? He had uh, just participated in a gang war and shot a bunch of people or something. I mean, it makes some sense, but uh, it made no sense whatsoever. I saw them putting the handcuffs on my mom and reading her, her rights. And then they started saying, you know, embezzlement. And I was like, embezzlement? Oh, I knew when they got on the plane. Strangely enough, I felt OK with it. I mean, it, it was like, I got caught, that's good, you know, then it's over. Rosemary Heinen had embezzled nearly $4 million from her employer. When her defense lawyers entered her house, it was obvious this wasn't a straightforward case. Take the tour. This is the entrance to the Heinen residence. This is a, uh, a large uh, crystal ball. So it appears to be a, a titanic plate. Clock on the dining room table. Rosemary had recorder. embezzled to feed a Unopened powerful obsession that had dominated her life for many years, shopping. In the months leading up to her arrest, her husband Jerry had noticed it get worse. But he thought she was spending her own money. Rosemary had told me she was headhunting. And headhunters um, can make a phenomenal amount of money. And I mean, I, I didn't have any reason to doubt her. Uh -oh. <laughs> OK, well, shit, now that I'm here. I had uh, six, between six and 800 Barbies. Oh, so, yes. <laughs> romance Barbie. Here's a spring parade Barbie. Here's a snowball Barbie and her pet dog. I needed it. I needed it to be secure. I appear to be stuck straight in a pound of Barbies. I believe that shopping and hoarding really gave me a sense of security of who I was. And if I couldn't do it, then it would become like I don't exist. And that's really what shopping and having the things in the house meant to me. I had to do it. That is what defined who I was. Here's a, appears to be a miniature white duckbill platypus. A psychologist who's made a study of obsessional shoppers believes Rosemary is in many ways typical. She's just the same as literally dozens and dozens of people I've seen. The problem is the same different in Rosemary's case is the sheer scale of the thing. What was in Rosemary's house was just the tip of the iceberg. With the help of the stolen money, Rosemary's shopping had taken on a whole new dimension, and her family knew nothing about it. She'd hidden it all away. I had 30, 30 cars. I couldn't believe there were 30 cars. I had never seen 30 cars.